Wind turbines have been around for decades, but the latest generation of wind turbines is set to change everything. You've probably seen those giant, traditional wind turbines dotting the landscape, but did you know there's a whole world of innovative, unseen wind turbines out there? Tulip-like vertical wind vibrators to portable micro-turbines for your camping trips, we're about to take you on an exciting journey into the future of wind power. Have you ever wondered about the hidden giants of wind energy? Isn't it fascinating how small wind turbines can change the way we generate electricity? If you're as intrigued as we are by these awesome inventions, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. But first, let's dive into a bit of history. The concept of harnessing the power of the wind isn't new. In fact, the first documented wind-powered machine was a musical organ by the Greek inventor Hero of Alexandria, around 100 AD. This organ was powered by a wind wheel, which is considered the precursor of the modern wind turbine. Over the centuries, wind power technology evolved, aiding farmers in Persia and China to boost food production. From those humble beginnings, wind power has come a long way. The wind turbines we're familiar with today are massive, towering structures that can reach over 250 meters in height. These giants power thousands of homes, and in this game, bigger is indeed better. The question is, why bother with small wind turbines at all? Are they like small cars compared to big trucks with different functions? Small wind turbines serve a different purpose. They're for individual use, whether you're a business, a farmer, or a homeowner. If you have a suitable location, you can generate your own electricity. Small wind turbines have a rotor sweep of less than 200 square meters, and beyond that, the possibilities are nearly endless. The rotor sweep is the area swept by the rotating blades of a wind turbine and it determines how much wind energy can be captured. Did you know that there are different types of small wind turbines? That's right. Small wind turbines are not all the same. Small wind turbines typically fall into two categories, horizontal and vertical. In horizontal turbines, the rotor shaft is aligned with the wind direction and must be actively oriented. They're generally more efficient and offer a better return on investment, making them dominant in the small wind turbine business. Horizontal turbines are the most common type of small wind turbine. They have a rotor shaft that is parallel to the wind direction and must be actively oriented to face the wind. They have two or three blades that rotate like a propeller, similar to their larger counterparts. Horizontal turbines are generally more efficient and offer a better return on investment than other types of wind turbines. However, they also have some drawbacks, such as being noisy, requiring more space, and posing a threat to birds or other flying creatures. Vertical turbines are another type of small wind turbine. Vertical turbines are also easier to maintain, with key components like the generator located at ground level. Plus, they offer room for creativity. They have a rotor shaft that is perpendicular to the wind direction and does not need to be oriented. They have multiple blades arranged in a spiral or helix shape, giving them a distinctive appearance. Vertical turbines have several advantages over horizontal turbines, such as being available on smaller scales, being less noisy, being easier to maintain, and taking up less space. They also have a more visible structure that is less likely to harm birds or other flying creatures. Vertical turbines are also easier to maintain, with key components like the generator located at ground level. Plus, they offer room for creativity. They have a rotor shaft that is perpendicular to the wind direction and does not need to be oriented. They have multiple blades arranged in a spiral or helix shape, giving them a distinctive appearance. They also have a more visible structure that is less likely to harm birds or other flying creatures. However, vertical turbines are also less efficient and more expensive than horizontal turbines. Innovation is happening fast in the world of small wind turbines. Besides the traditional horizontal and vertical turbines, a third category of omnidirectional turbines is emerging, designed to harness wind from all directions, including above and below. One example of an omnidirectional turbine is the Windspire, which has a vertical axis and a conical shape that allows it to capture more wind energy than conventional vertical turbines. Another example is the Windstalk, which consists of flexible poles that sway in the wind and generate electricity through piezoelectricity a phenomenon that converts mechanical stress into electric voltage. 
Bladeless wind turbines and kite turbines are two examples of innovative technologies that are trying to harness wind energy in different ways than conventional wind turbines. Bladeless wind turbines are wind turbines that do not have any blades, gears, or shafts. They use a phenomenon called aerodynamic induction to generate electricity from the wind. Aerodynamic induction is the process of creating a pressure difference between the front and the back of a structure, which causes it to vibrate. Bladeless wind turbines have some advantages over traditional wind turbines, such as being less noisy, less expensive, less maintenance-intensive, and more bird-friendly. However, they also have some disadvantages, such as being less efficient, less scalable, and more sensitive to turbulence. Kite turbines are wind turbines that use kites to fly in the air and capture wind energy. The kites are tethered to a ground-based generator and have rotors or propellers on board that spin as they fly in a circular pattern. The spinning motion generates electricity that is transmitted to the ground through the tether. Kite turbines have some advantages over traditional wind turbines, such as being able to reach higher altitudes where the wind is stronger and more consistent. Being able to operate in offshore or remote locations where installation is difficult or costly and being more portable and adaptable. However, they also have some disadvantages, such as being more complex, more dependent on weather conditions, and more prone to interference from other kites or aircraft. The Bergy Wind Power BWC XL10, one of the lightest and most powerful small wind turbines on the market, this turbine weighs only 1,050 pounds or 476 points in 27 kilo, but can produce up to 10 kilowatts of electricity. It has a rotor diameter of 23 feet, which is 7 meters, which means it can capture a lot of wind energy, but also fits in most locations. It can operate in winds as low as 6.7 miles per hour, or 10.8 km h, and as high as 134 miles per hour, or 216 km h. It is designed for grid-connected or battery charging applications, so you can either sell your excess power to the utility company or store it for later use. Next, we have the Primus Wind Power Air 40 Wind Turbine Generator, a micro wind turbine that can produce up to 40 kilowatt per hour of energy per month in optimal conditions. This turbine is very small and portable, with a rotor diameter of only 46 in or 1 point marivido and a rated power of 160 watts. It can operate in winds as low as 7 mils per hour or 11.3 kiquarit per hour and as high as 110 miles per hour or 100 1.7 per hour, making it suitable for short locations, marine environments, and off-grid applications. It can charge batteries, power lights, or run small appliances depending on your needs. It is also very easy to install and maintain with only three moving parts and no wiring required. The Picasola wind turbine generator 12 volts 400 watts is a small wind turbine that can generate up to 400 watts of power at 28 miles per hour or 45 km per hour of wind speed. This turbine has a rotor diameter of 51 in or 1.3 meter and a rated power of 400 W. It can operate in winds as low as 5.6 miles per hour or 9 km per hour and as high as 78 miles per hour or 126 km per hour. It can supplement your existing power system with a low-cost and easy-to-install device that can reduce your electricity bills. It also has a built-in controller that protects the battery from overcharging and over-discharging. The Dyna Living Wind Turbine Generator Kit 500 watts is a small wind turbine that can produce up to 500 watt of power at 20.7 miles per hour or 33.3 kilometer per hour of wind speed. This turbine has a rotor diameter of 55 and 1.4 meter and a rated power of 500 watt. It can operate in winds as low as 5.6 miles per hour, 9 kilometer per hour, and as high as 67 miles per hour or 108 kilometer per hour making it ideal for low wind areas. These unseen giants are changing the game of wind power technology and offering new possibilities for renewable energy generation and consumption. Government incentive programs and mass production could help make small wind turbines more accessible. As for the future, we may see a combination of vertical, horizontal, and entirely new designs in the small wind turbine industry. In the quest for cleaner, more sustainable energy sources, Small wind turbines have an essential role to play, especially in niche areas and locations where space is limited. As we strive to create a greener future, we'll need all the wind power we can get, whether they're vertical, 
horizontal, or something entirely new, these unseen giants could change everything. Have you heard of any intriguing innovations in small wind turbines? Share your answer with us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.